dentistry is kind of a community that requires some intentional building. You're kind of isolated in your own practice. So I wanted to meet some local people in the area. Dr. Eastman and team are leaders in this community and they've you know, generously offered their expertise in kind of an educational setting. So it helps me take what would otherwise be a black box where I send a patient that I really care about out somewhere and it kind of demystifies it for me so I can see what I'm recommending. If a particular procedure is outside of my skill set or my technical confidence, it's nice to have access to that and see what I'm asking a patient to be on board with. It's fun seeing the Eastman's interact. That's something that you probably don't hear from a lot of uh, you know, CE audience. Um, and it's, it's just really nice to, um, again, to see what the workings are of something that I wouldn't otherwise ever have a chance to see. You know, when I tell a patient to get an implant, I have an idea in my head about what that means, but um, it's nice to see who I'm handing that off to, what their considerations are, and then uh, what the patient experience is for someone who's gonna come back to me, right? Because you're not only married to that patient, but you're married to the procedure as well. So the more you can streamline that, the better everyone's life is. Well, I'm a newer practitioner. So I'm trying to um, access as much as I can early in my career, because I know from others and from myself that what you don't get access to early on, you tend to kind of push aside. So it helps broaden your um, area of exposure and helps broaden the solutions that are available in your tool belt for patients that you're seeing yourself.